Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. I'm your Excel Guru and today I'll be uh, telling you how to make a create a pivot table. Pivot tables are used to create uh, very good reports, very simple reports, uh, uh, even complex reports out of complex data. Uh, I have taken a This is a huge amount of data. And let us see how people can help us in some way, in the best way possible. Uh, our aim would be to summarize the data country wise, then have the breakdown as per the product, and then from there on we'll take it. Alright? So within the control A, click on insert and click on pivot table in the drop down menu, choose pivot table it says select your table range it will automatically select this table range and you have already selected the table range and ensure that you have named your headers your columns should be named I have given names over here and then choose new worksheet because in existing worksheet it becomes very very cluttered so it's best better to have it in a new worksheet so click OK it will create a new worksheet in your existing workbook and this is the place where the pivot table would be created and this is from where it would be created it's a drag and drop job a very very good thing see uh, the uh, these are the names of your headers and these are four basic things which control how a pivot would look like the first is report filter uh, I'll put in country over here now what it does is it allows me to see data whatever data I will have as per country uh, country wise or the complete data together all right and then i'll put in first thing i want is the data as per the country so i'll take it i'll drag this thing to the row label so if you see it appeared over here and then i would like the products to be mentioned just beneath the countries like which products are selling in which country so the products are now mentioned over here as per country now I would like to see the sales so I'll take sales and drag it to the values column this column is basically for numbers and there are different formats for numbers I'll tell you three tell you uh, if you just click on it it will show you value field settings here you can have this sum as it's reflecting over here you can have a count you can have the average the max the min minimum the product the count of numbers standard deviation standard deviation population variation variation population all you can have any of these things mentioned over here you can even format your numbers from here you want percentages you can have the data in percentages over here so this is how this thing works now this is the product that has come in over here so I'll keep it to sum alright now I would like a breakdown of the sales month wise to be visible so I'll click it and I'll take it to the values column see the month wise figures are also coming over here you can play with it uh, see product name as of now is in row label I can take it to the columns label and things would change Austin Martin BMW uh, let me remove uh, Jan and Feb so it will become easier see now you have it product wise this way that's the reason why it is called pivot table you can move your data around so I'll take it back over here again simple drag and drop I can even incorporate the cities over here see Honda was sold only in Delhi and in India and Mazda in Bombay so you can now work out okay so Honda can be sold in Delhi also Honda can be sold in Bombay also and Mazda can be sold in uh, India in Delhi also so you get to know you can find out uh, which was your highest performer uh, say category wise by using the max formula and it's very easy to uh, remove things you just click over here and remove field you can this field is gone it's so very easy and you can even even now since we had this field 
uh, country field ah it's gone report filter so now you can have it country wise i s choose india or i choose usa thank you uh, thank you to, uh, thank you to the people in usa and uk uh, i am getting a lot of support from you people uh, thank you once again so i click on okay and here's the data for us uh, bmw chevrolet and volvo I uh, Chevrolet is my favorite. I happen to use this brand myself. I, I own a, a, a car by the, of this brand. A wonderful car, a wonderful car. And same way you can see multiple uh, data also here. So I choose US and UK. Now comes both and BMW, Chevrolet, Ferrari, Mercedes, Volvo. So you can have multiple data over here. So this is how pivot tables work. You click over here and you can even go to these options over here and you show options and you can name your pivot from here very simple things and then uh, you can actually choose one more thing which is very very important is you can choose to refresh data whenever opening the file so whenever uh, you open the file it will refresh the data so you can choose over here and say and you have added some more data over here and the pivot table which will reflect once you have made the table and you add more data over here then you need to go over here and right click it and click on refresh and it will have new data incorporated over here it's so very simple pivot tables uh, can be mastered with practice and by practice uh, let me tell you that this excel file shown in this video is available for free download at my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com you go to the training files page here's the training files page and you would be able to download the training files from here without any charge nothing at all and on the home page uh, you would be able to view the when you go to the home page you would be able to view the latest latest uh, videos uh, that are available the video that you're looking at right now is also available to for viewing and on my website also you can also go to free stuff this link uh, has wonderful templates which you can use in your day-to-day -day life like maintaining your budget uh, and such stuff wonderful thing wonderful thing to have uh, I would also like you to kindly share this work of uh, with your friends on by you are watching this on YouTube so you can share this just click over here ho on this button and share it on Facebook and Twitter so that more and more people get access to this video and you can also follow me on Facebook and uh, you can find me by there by the name of Excel made easy I would like you to like my page and share it so that we can spread knowledge that's my motto let's share knowledge so this is your Excel guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy excel learning hello everybody and welcome to excel made easy yes this is your excel guru back again with a new formula for the day the vlookup formula yes you heard it right the vlookup formula uh, one of the most dreaded things but one of the most uh, most uh, helpful things uh, for ms excel yes uh, many people would simply shrink away for applying uh, tr for trying to learn to apply it they believe it's a bit bit difficult to apply yes I agree and however when you once you come to know how to apply it and how to use it it's one of the best things around one of the best things around all right uh, now before we proceed further uh, let me just tell you what does we look up do well what it does is exactly it actually uh, from a given table say this is a table from a given table it looks up for a specific value that you give it to give it give it to give to Excel and then it looks up in the leftmost column of the table and then searches for a specific uh, value for that corresponding range in the rows over here and then returns it from a specific column sounds confusing it is all right uh, I, I'll, I'll make it the most simplest way to learn a VLOOKUP all right uh, I'll teach it in two ways the first one is my favorite way by entering the formula syntax the other way is by going to the formula tab and clicking on FX function all right so first one 
we'll do it by entering the formula syntax and if x formula in Excel is and started by the is equal to sign is equal to we look up let's all look up <laughs> we look up all right net it says look up value all right the look up value is say Apple I want to find out how many apples were sold and then it says table array uh, how many apples were sold out of this complete data uh, to make it simpler I'll have to do some formatting just excuse me this would be helpful you'll find it helpful uh, all right again is equal to we look up yes you got it right Apple now the range where I want to find the apples say now I want to find the count or, or, or the number of apples that was sold on say the fifth the, f the fourth of April all right so we'll select this complete range now now comes the most important part is that you have to specify from which column do you want VLOOKUP to pick up the data uh, over here B15 was Apple Apple was mentioned over here hence B15 where do we want to look it from this is the table where we want to look it from now Excel would ask from which column from which column would you want the data to be there alright now the column we want is the 4th of April so how do we count the columns we need to tell Excel uh, which uh, column to look into so the first column would be number one then this is the second column this is the third column fourth column and fourth of April is the fifth column so we have to mention five over here and then comma and then zero and then we close the parenthesis and you know what the spelling of VLOOKUP is wrong over here I'm sure most of you would have noted it <laughs> and then I press enter and voila I was looking for the answer for the 4th of April how many apples were sold see on 4th of April 13 apples were sold we'll just review the syntax once again over here we'll review it B15 stands for this Apple B is the column 15 is the row so B15 stand for the lookup criteria all right b6 to b uh, i11 is the range to look it into look uh, what uh, what uh, to look up the uh, the criteria apple and then the quantity the uh, the relevant quantity across the complete range and five over here is the column from which we want to pick up the data that is we want to pick up the data for the fourth of April so 4th of April incidentally coincidentally comes in the column number 5 and the 0 is uh, this is a technical thing well let me just brush upon it very briefly in Excel if you mention 0 it, it will give you the exact value of whatever you're looking at <coughs> excuse me I believe my smoking has gone up I have to cut it down <laughs> and and as, as I was mentioning zero would give you this exact value and if you mention one over there it will give you the nearest value in my later sessions I would be covering it in more detail so this was the syntax uh, uh, this was VLOOKUP using the syntax feature formula syntax and now I'll take it the easier way uh, we'll go to the ribbon Excel ribbon over here we'll click on formula click, click on FX vision and type in we look up click and go uh, all the relevant formulas in in regards to we look up uh, show up over here and don't don't worry I'll be teaching all of them uh, I believe we look up I will, I'm already teaching you count if I've already taught look up it's look up if and match would be taught again we'll wait for the later later sessions okay now comes the magic over here this is very simple actually now look up value see it, it says over here is the value to be found in the first column of the table and can be a value a reference or a text string 
so my first uh, the value that we are looking at is sorry now apple okay and the table array is a table of text numbers or logical values in which data is retrieved table array can be a reference to a range or a range name that means this is the area from which we need to look how many apples are there on how many products or uh, fruits were sold what kind of all fruits were sold uh, on specific dates then again this see the most important thing column index is the column number in a table array from which the matching value should be returned the first column of the value is in the table is column 1 so the first column is 1 2 3 4 5 so on the 4th of April how many mangoes were sold this was then we have to ent enter column 5 and range lookup again as it says is a logical value to find the closest match in the first column or exact match so for exact match we need 0 and we click on OK and here's the answer we look up in the most simplest manner I hope you guys liked it uh, just to let you know that this worksheet that you're looking at is available for free download on my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com